Farmers make just about anything out of old combines, but this redo is one of the most unique we've ever seen. Kansas Custom Harvester Harley Van Giesen built this 550 bushel self-propelled grain cart from an old IH 915 combine. And it worked so well, he even built a second one. He started by tearing the old combine apart, saving only the lower drivetrain, the hydrostatic transmission, engine, cab, and unloading system. He built a heavier frame with 4x7 by 3 8 inch box tubing, hinged it in the middle for smooth operation over rough terrain. He fitted the steering axle with 18 4 by 26 inch rear combine tires to give the unit 22 inches of ground clearance. Then he mounted the engine behind the steering axle and built a front bumper and a hood to protect it. 24 5 by 32 rear tires support the grain hopper, which is angled 40 degrees on the right side so grain runs to the center for easy unloading. Okay, as you can see, this is our cab. Right below it, we put the engine. This is some of our components back inside of it. We use the clutch, and there's our extra hydraulic pump to drive our augering system. We built a hood on the, on it and put a, the radiator out, extended out about 15 inches or so. The main frame, we used three by six square tubing. Our front axle sitting under there were all welded and attached to it. Built their own reservoirs. Our bed is 10 foot wide. The whole unit is sitting on, I think, 108 inch center to center on wheels. So we're wide stanced. This is our unloading auger to run out. They have no trouble unloading on trucks, semis. And we haven't had any trouble with it. It will fit on a regular combine trailer. Our bed is tapered towards the side where you unload the combine. We've got a rollover tarp on it. There's a picture of our rear axle on it. Our exhaust pipe comes up right at the side of it where, and our muffler exhaust is all blowing up away from the stubble fields. We've got our tail lights, flashers, your slow moving vehicle sign on it. So it's where it can be taken down the road with no problems. Headlights. This is where we're catching our combine on the run. See where our road's on the go. The auger mechanism uses the top elbow and the unloading tube from the combine. A new vertical auger reaches to the base of the tank. The custom carts work really well, says Van Giesen. The two rigs can move about 1,700 bushels an hour, driving a mile or more to the bins and back. Fully loaded, they can travel 8 to 9 miles an hour in the field and about 16 miles an hour unloaded. After building two of these custom rigs, Van Giesen knows the manufacturing process pretty well. The plans are all in my head, he says, and if somebody wants one, well, we sure can build it for them, or I'll show them how. Mm -hmm. 